Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. This video is a review of the WM150 watt meter that's made by Torquit RC. Um, a, a watt meter, if you're new to the hobby, allows you to check how much current uh, is being drawn by your motor and your ESC on your fixed wing plane so that you can figure out whether you could change the prop size or you've under propped and the system has been over revving. Um, it's a very useful tool to have. So let's switch over to the unit and I'll just show you it in operation. Now, I have strapped one of my smaller planes to my desk so that I can test this, but I would suggest you normally do this outside. Okay, it's got a rather nice screen. I'm hoping you can see this uh, on the camera. So what I'm going to do, I plugged it up to the aeroplane and I'm going to arm the aeroplane and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear me, but uh, let's give this a go. Okay, let's give this a go. And you can see we're drawing 0.5 of an amp. So we're drawing five and a half amps. So as you can see from the mop meter, we were drawing five and a half amps. Now inside the aeroplane, I have a 10 amp ESC, and so it should be able to handle any peaks that it may get. This is a very small setup, but you can see that worked nicely to explain, showing us exactly what was going on in the um, uh, with regard to the ESC. Let's do it one more time. There will be a bit of vibration because I'm holding the plane against uh, my desk, but let's give it another go. And there we go. There's the test. Now, if you get this warning, it means that the pulse is not set up to 1000. It's warning you, so you have to click the button out and drop it to 1000 and then push it back in. So if you get that warning, that's uh, it's telling you you need to change the pulse to 1000. You can see that I've attached a servo to the wattmeter and it can also check your servos. So this is where we, um, we click out the knob and you can see it's sending PWM signals out. So you can test, but you just must remember to put it back to a thousand for when you're doing the wattmeter tests. Now to my summary of the Toolkit RC WM150 wattmeter. Now, yes, it's great. It does the job. I love the screen that it's got, the LCD screen. The old wattmeter that I have, and I have did a previous review on that, um, was great. It worked, but the screen is nowhere near as good as this one because I think that's an LED screen and this is LCD. Now, would I buy one? Yes, I would. If I didn't have one, um, uh, this is a very nice tool and very useful if you're obviously, you, know, you wouldn't be able to use it for quadcopters, but for aeroplanes, it's a great tool to have. If you want to play around and experiment with different size pop props and pictures of props and just checking that it's not overstressing your system. Um, would I buy one? Yes, I would. I would buy, I would buy one and I would recommend it. I must just point out that Talkit RC did kindly supply the WM150 for review. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now. There is an affiliate link in the description below if you would like to purchase the product I just reviewed which would help support my channel.